was in third grade, I had this excellent teacher, Mrs. Wolf, and she was really strict, but she also let us write stories. And I was kind of bad at that point and kind mm -hmm. of very bad. And um, <laughs> I had been in trouble uh, early on as a kid um, and she sort of made me do what I had to do, which was good. And then she loved my stories and she even typed one up and she oh. sent my parents a note. Yeah, for me, it was a, a really new experience. And um, she sent this note to my parents saying that John is going to be an author someday. And <laughs> it really, it really mattered, you know? And then mm -hmm. she informed my fourth grade teacher that I liked to write stories. And I was writing like 15 page stories when I was eight, nine years old. I was really into Pretty it. Pretty cool. And so my, my fourth grade teacher, Miss Ford, now Miss Ayers, kept it going. And I had these books mm -hmm. I would, that I would write stories and illustrate. So then I kept writing stories sort of privately uh, through middle mm -hmm. school and high school. I never really showed anybody. I didn't think of myself as being good at writing stories. I just liked it. And mm -hmm. it wasn't until the end of college that I started to think I would try to be better at it. And I still wasn't mm -hmm. thinking I would publish. And then after college, I started sending things out and um, got more serious. So I was writing every day the year after college, and just never stopped that. So, and then I boxed for Penn State. And then I moved to Philadelphia wow. because Philadelphia is the best boxing city in the world. And I, at that mm -hmm. point in my life, I thought I was going to earn my life, earn my living as a, as a fighter. And um, mm -hmm. yeah, but I, I ended up instead of going pro, I ended up teaching and um, I made the right choice, you know, because my brains are still mm -hmm. relatively intact. But then when it came <laughs> time to write uh, Phoenix Island, you know, it was really a no brainer to throw in the boxer because mm -hmm. uh, I had, I had written this character sketch of, of Carl, the main character, probably two years before I started the book. And I loved it, but mm -hmm. I, I was busy with other stuff and I didn't and I have any idea what his story was. And then I heard about this cash for kids scandal mm -hmm. where these judges, Pennsylvania judges were sending kids with really no advocacy at all off to privately run um, institutions. And then they, it was proven they were getting kickbacks for really ugly stuff. And mm -hmm. I, then I was researching offshore uh, boot camps where kids from the U.S. are sent out and they don't have the same laws that we do. And my mind started spinning and I thought, wow, they could do horrible things. You know, who could survive this? And then this kid from this sketch I had done a year or two earlier popped in my head. 